When we started working on Gort with a team of just several people back in 2020, we didn't plan to have any motion capture. We thought we can get by with just keyframe animations and text-based cinematics, which are basically a standard for indie strategy games. But after a while, we realized that we have an emotional story that is simply not impactful enough when presented from afar. So we needed our cinematics to show our characters from up close. Interestingly enough, we found out that the most affordable solution uh, for us to animate faces in our cinematics was to capture facial performance with an iPhone app. This facial mockup was then exported and polished by an animator in the engine. So firstly, we captured body performance, then we recorded voiceovers to fit it, and lastly, we recorded facial performance basing on that material. The vision for the cinematics in this game changed drastically throughout the production. After resigning from the text-based cinematics for the most important scenes, we tried to deliver scenes with just one shot. And that was very difficult, especially for the scenes that lasted for several minutes. But we kept that approach for a long time in production. I think it was December 2022 that our publisher, Team17, and the creative part of Team17 actually encouraged us to try an alternative approach with cuts and completely different lighting. And this approach proven to be extremely effective in improving the overall cinematic quality of those assets that we have in the game right now. So you can say that we've completely refactored our cinematics at the very last moment but I'm extremely proud of what our team has accomplished in that area. 